In this video, you will learn what a fixed widget is in ReadyMag. You will learn how to use fixed widgets for titles, menus, and animations. A fixed widget is any widget that's fixed to one of the edges, a corner, or the center of the screen. If the page is scrolled down, a fixed widget will remain on the screen and follow the scroll throughout the current page. This is a landing page for a restaurant. The different pages are made in advance. All of the examples in this tutorial and more can be found at readymag.com slash templates. We are now going to learn how to add a fixed title and menu. The first thing we are going to create is the website title in the top left corner. We are going to add a text widget and type out our title. To help us with aligning the title and the text widget, we are going to enable guides in the grid and layout menu. Then we are going to change the font by choosing Logo 28 from the preset styles for this project. Now we are going to click the text widget and click the pin icon. You can see that there are nine options to where you can fix a widget onto the screen. We will then click the top left circle and create a widget that's fixed to the top left corner. Then click on all pages so that the widget will appear on all pages of our project. Any changes to this widget will apply on all project pages. Also clicking above pages so that the widget will float over the pages when scrolling and navigating between them. You notice the text widget will move to the top of the Fixed on All Pages section in the layer list. Once the fixed setting is enabled, a widget will automatically appear in the top layer of your layout. If you want to move it to the bottom layer, simply drag it in the Widgets panel to the very bottom of the Widgets list. The title acts as a link to the home page. In order to create a link, we will highlight the text and click the link icon in the settings. Since the link is an internal one, you can simply add the page number in the text field. Then press the play button. We don't want it to open a separate tab for the home page, so we won't toggle the open in tab button. You can click the preview eye and click the text widget you created to ensure it takes you to the home page. Now as an added bonus, let's add a line under the text that will also be a fixed widget across all pages. We'll head over and choose a shape widget and choose the line in the pop-up. We'll then repeat the exact same steps we did for the title and create a fixed widget to the top left corner choosing on all pages and above pages. Now that we have our title, we can start constructing our menu. For this, we will open up another text widget and type the sections of our future menu, About Us, Events, and Gallery. Then, like the title, switch the text settings to match the original template. We will then fix the text widget to the top right corner of the screen, clicking on all pages and above pages. Let's add bullet points between the sections of our menu. They can be found in the insert option in the text settings menu. Now we'll link the about us text to the corresponding page in the project just like we did in the title. We will then proceed to follow the same steps for events and gallery. Let's click preview to check how the menu works. With this menu, we are able to click through the different pages of the project. To learn how fixed widgets can be used for animations, we are going to animate images within this website. We have previously uploaded these photos, but you can upload photos here 
in the widgets menu by clicking the picture widget icon. We currently have three photos that are fixed to the left side of the screen. We only want to work with one layer at a time, so we're going to make the second two pictures in the animation invisible for now by clicking the eye icon in the layer menu. For the first picture, the idea is for the picture to be there when the page loads and for it to remain on the page until the user scrolls past the Now is the Time title. The first thing that we're going to do is click our first picture widget and click the animation icon. We'll be using the scroll animation for this example because we want the animation to be activated by scrolling on the page. After clicking scroll, we want the image to disappear as we scroll, so we'll choose opacity from the list. You can see that we can change the delay, or how many pixels down the page you'd like the picture to load. It can take some time to get the delay perfect. Let's create a ruler. It's a shape that we will place on the upper edge of the screen. We'll drag it down to the point we want the animation to start or end. Sizes in the grid and layout menu, or shortcut X, should be enabled, and we will see the number of pixels here. We'll use approximate values. As we said, we want the first picture to disappear as now is the time appears to the right. As you can see in our example, now is the time is 660 pixels down the page. We must set the animation before the title so the animation is completing as we pass now is the time. So for the step one delay, we're going to set it to 495 pixels. By changing the speed, you can define how long each step of an on-scroll animation is displayed while the visitor is scrolling. First, so we can correctly see how the animation will work, we must set the opacity 100 to 0 so the picture will disappear as we scroll down the page. If you set the speed to 1x, the step will be displayed for the duration of the page by 1 pixel with the speed of 5x by 2 pixels. The faster an animation speed, the less scrolling it requires to play. We're going to 4x the speed to make the scrolling transition of the pictures smooth and easy for the user. We can always check our work by clicking the scroll to preview option. We are now going to repeat a similar process for the other two picture widgets. A quick tip is you can copy widget animations by using the keyboard shortcut shift control c and paste it using shift control v on windows. For the second photo we are going to select it from our layers list and once again Click the animation icon, clicking scroll and opacity. We want the second picture to appear with the now is the time title and after the first picture. We'll use the ruler once again. Because we want the picture to appear and disappear, this will be a two-step animation. Because our step one ended at 495 pixels, we want the transition to be immediately afterwards. We are going to set the delay to 505 pixels, also setting the speed to 4x. For this step 1, the opacity will not be set 0 to 100 because we want the image to appear. We can add a step 2 this time by clicking the plus icon next to the step 1 title. We want the second image to disappear at the title, how we have adapted. For this we will click opacity we are going to use the ruler to help us once again. For step 2 we are going to set the delay to 575 pixels and will once again set the speed to 4x. Since we want the picture to disappear, the opacity for this step 2 will be set to 0. For the third picture we will only have to do one step. We want the picture to start at the How We Have Adapted title and after the second picture. First, once again we'll come over to the layers list and we'll click the eye icon next to the third image so we can animate it. We only need to slightly move the ruler because we want the next picture to appear around the same area. Returning to the animation menu, we will once again click scroll and opacity. For the third image, we are going to set the delay to 1290 pixels. 
the speed once again to 4x, and the opacity is 0 to 100 because we want it to appear and stay through the end of the page. You can see now as we delete the ruler, when we click the preview button and we scroll, it's a smooth transition between the picture widgets. You now know how to create menus and animate widgets using fixed widgets. Find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.